in front, then you can just pick them off on the break. If Arsenal get in front, and they bloody have, it's Pepe of all people. Pepe, bloody losing to Arsenal. Who loses to Arsenal? I can't believe we are losing to Arsenal. That is a bloody joke. And I knew it would be Pepe. Does sod all all season. The most overrated signing that Arsenal have ever made. Dan James destroys him. Scores against Arsenal. Scores against United in the first few minutes. And suddenly he's worth 80 million. Because that's how Arsenal will absolutely celebrate it. But uh, how are we losing to Arsenal? How are we losing to Arsenal? You know, they're rubbish. They could enter a useless bag of shit competition and be the only entrance and they still wouldn't win it. They are terrible. And we have... Well, he's onside. He's on... Your hand can't be offside. It's Ozil with the assist. It flicks off. Is it... Who does it flick off? Is, is it Lindelof? It's Fred's poor. Well, I, I, to be honest, I think Lingard's got to put this out for a corner. It's luck. Zane Miassi is laughing his head off. Lingon and course for a one in the match rating, says the mystery man. Well, that's on Ollie. De Gea. Goal shit. Absolute shit. What's going on? It's Kalasnich, is it? It's Socrates smashing it in. If VAR doesn't help us, we have blown it. We have absolutely blown it. Invisible defending from Manchester United here. Invisible defending. Will there be a VAR? I don't think there is. It looks like it's 2-0. Invisible defending. Ollie's gone to his bloody laptop to see if he can claim a VAR. But it's invisible defending from Manchester United. I, who is going to attack this cross? Nobody. It's, a, it's not going to be VAR'd. It's flicked on. Invisible defending. I tell you what. That defence could go out in pouring rain for an hour and they'd still come in drier than a poppadom's fart. They are awful, invisible defending. What are they doing? Like, somebody's got to go and attack that ball. Kalasnik just blasts it in, thinks it's his birthday, New Year's Day. Happy New Year, Abba. Classic. Crap. Rubbish. They're coached by Steve Round, for God's sake. He was David Moyes' coach. And that second goal we didn't want to see has gone in. And it's just invisible. I tell you what, if you're on the radio, you're blessed. If you're listening to this on the radio, you're the lucky ones. Because I tell you what, you'll probably see the back four more than we will. Invisible. Absolutely bloody invisible. That, that cross is head height and it goes, nobody attacks it. Eight, I tell you what, Harry Maguire, 80 million pounds. He's not worth 80 pence at the moment and he's the captain. Lindelof's got to head that away as well. Awful. Awful. Owners like a trumpet. But here's Rashford in down the left-hand side. Get a shot off. Oh, for God's sake, man. What are you doing? They've just... Their heads are gone. 2020 and their heads have gone. Awful from Manchester United. 2-0. I've got to change the score. But this is... This is abhorrent. It's, but it's only what Arsenal deserve. I said this. You were all saying this. Can we just get to half-time? 1-0. If we get to half-time, maybe we can change it around. It could be, without shadow of a doubt, it could be 3 or 4-0 to Arsenal, and you wouldn't say they don't deserve it. They've absolutely battered him. And he's sat there. I've got no confidence in these three people here. Carrick, McKenna, and, and Ollie. They look like the bloody three amigos. They haven't got a clue. I don't like our zonal marking on corners. I do not like the zonal corner marking on corners. And that's why I don't bloody like zonal marking on corners. Couldn't mark a piece of paper with shitty hands. And it's 1-0. Zonal marking does not work. That is a bloody joke. That is, that is awful. I cannot believe that. We've started really well. Started really well. What Rewind that back and say, I hate United zonal marking. You've just had it handed on a plate to you, Ollie, there. When are you going to bloody learn? Liverpool haven't even had to work hard for that. He's, but they barely got out of bed. They haven't even brushed their teeth and they're 1-0 up. That is shocking because we're zonal marking. What's Brandon Williams doing on Van Dijk? You see what I mean? He's got the jump on Harry Maguire because we're zonal marking. I bloody hate our coaches. They are useless. Do not zonal mark. That is such an easy goal for Liverpool to score. Bloody ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. How many weeks have we been talking about zonal marking? You've got to man-man mark. Mar Harry Maguire should be magnetic magnetic to Van, Van Dyke there. That is a joke. Why are fans highlighting these things? Ridiculous. 
Absolutely ridiculous. They haven't even had to break sweat and were 1-0 down. What did we say about not giving up a goal in the first 20 minutes? They've not even had to work for that. It's a deflected bloody cross, corner, and they just whip something in and Van Dyke says, I'll have that for breakfast. Joke. Absolute joke. That is so, so... That is... I don't even... Well, I don't even blame the players because that's coming from the coaching ground, that is. Zonal marking at this level. Disgraceful. Absolutely bloody disgraceful. That is so frustrating. So frustrating. We started off well as well. Oh, fucking hell. Well up. I don't know what the referee's doing here. Referee's played on. 2-0. Like, what the hell is going on here? What is going on here? What's this referee doing? David De Gea wants some with the ref as well. I, 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 I think this referee is a joke, people. I, I, I am absolutely stunned what's going on here. De Gea wants to knock him out, don't we all? I don't even know what's going on. Couldn't find his way out of a bloody lift, this ref. He's bloody useless. Get some, get down spec savers, you clown. If he does not give this, it's a blatant foul. Sort yourself out. You're out of control, mate. You're pissed. Get him a breathalyzer. He's giving David De Gea a yellow card as well. That is a foul. We're having a foul for that, you bloody twat. Awful referee. Absolute joke. And now De Gea's getting a yellow card because you can't do your job, mate. That is a blatant foul on David De Gea. He's trying to catch the ball and Van Dyke takes him out. That's a foul. De Gea's gone over him to said, and all he said is, you're no good at your job and he gets a yellow card for it. Yeah, you're going to look a right mug now. Yeah. You bloody idiot. Yeah, you bloody idiot. Sit down, booking De Gea. Oh, that is, so what is Dan side. James doing there? That That's Dan James's problem to a bloody tee. Salah makes it 2-0 on know. the break. And the, the power of Dan James there, he is like, <laughs> it's like a butterfly biting, a, biting an elephant's arse. He, he, he runs back to level him up and then he has got no power on it at all. He's got no power at all to stop that goal. It's awful. Weak, weaker than just a butterfly's far. Anything butterfly is Dan James there. Like, it just, it's just like, it just gets, it's Mo Salah, man. It's not bloody Zlatan, it's Mo Salah. And Dan James gets Chicken. back level with him. And that is a joke. That is a, that, that tap to me, Paul, that, that wraps up the performance of, um, of Dan James today. It, it's just, yeah, just weak. He gets back, he, know, he but... runs his arse off to get back. And then that, it just gets muscled <laughs> off. Salad. Yeah, but my... Ollie's doing this. Don't know what it means. He just did this. I go do 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 push pineapple shake a tree. I go do 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 push pineapple shake coffee to the left to the right. Jump up and down onto the knees. Maybe he was doing that. Um, uh, City. Oh no. Oh no. You can't account for that. You can't account for that. I've got to I've got to have a look back. Bernardo Silva's just whacked one in from the edge of the box and that is disgusting in in a way that I don't know who to blame. It, it just looks like a good goal, Braveheart. I agree. Um Kyle Walker into Bernardo Silva. Fred too slow to close him down. I don't know what Phil Jones is doing there. I mean it's more Fred's fault, but Phil Jones sort of moves out the way. What? It's a it's, yeah, David the haircut. You, I, to be honest with you, I, I I don't even. Fred's got to close him down quicker. Fred's got to close him down quicker. That it's as simple as that. But it's sometimes it's a, it's a, it's unstoppable from De Gea. For De Gea, he can't get near it. I think Fred's got to close. It's easy. The, the thing that's annoying about that is you've got to defend well. You've got to switch on, and that whilst it's an unstoppable goal. Look at the goal. It's a Kyle Walker pass to Bernardo Silva who takes a touch and gets a shot off. You shouldn't be getting a shot off like that. I think Fred's too slow. And um, I think that, you know, we all love Fred, but he's got to close him down. He's got to close him down there. It's a brilliant goal, but you've got to ask the question that they've not had to work to get that shot off. So great goal from, from Bernardo Silva, but I think United have got to defend better than that. Centre-backs are there doing nothing. And Lindelof makes the mistake and it's bloody 2-0. Who bloody what? It's Mares. It's 2-0. Couldn't mark a toddler spelling test, Lindelof there. Slips on his arse. Slower than a snail's funeral. And it's 2-0. That's bloody frustrating, that is. 
What? What's he doing slipping over here? It's just a long ball in the air. Doesn't really... Di well, it's Lindelof who doesn't deal with the high ball. Then slow by Pereira to catch him. And then he's, he's caught on his arse. Lindelof. It's totally Lindelof's fault, I'm afraid. Terrible defensive header. Heads it to, the, to, to Bernardo Silva. And then he slips in Mares. That's awful from Lindelof. I'm sorry. That is awful from Lindelof. That header needs to be going back to Man City's goal. Then he doesn't turn around quick enough. Mares has got the run on him. Bernardo slips him in. He's got his angles of the, to cut the pass out all wrong. That's Lindelof on toast, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. That's Lindelof on toast. Um, he's got to win that header. Powerful. You've got to put your neck in it. And then he's not reacted to his crap header. Um, I'm sorry. That, that is on Lindelof, I'm afraid. How is that not a foul on Brandon Williams? De Bruyne. Oh, blood! Get off! Get off! Get off! What are you doing? Andres Pereira scored an own bloody goal. It's 3-0. But why is that not a foul on Brandon Williams? Oli Gunnar Solskjaer is pointing the finger. I think it is a foul on Brandon Williams, but you've got to switch on afterwards. You've got to bloody switch on here. Let's watch this back. Well, what are we doing? It's so good. Well, someone's got to go and win this ball again. Lindelof going for the header, falling on his arse. Mares running through. Brandon Williams. That's a foul. That's a foul on Brandon Williams. That's poor refereeing. Where's VAR? I think that's a foul on Brandon Williams, to be honest with you. That is a foul on him. Like, Brandon Williams gets the ball. I think that's a foul. I think that's a foul. But Jones, apps. Jones, get back to Blackburn. They're going to check this on VAR. I think this is a foul. He's given it. He's bloody given it. They've checked it. There is VAR in the Carabao Cup and they've given it. I can't believe that. Oh, Phil Jones, you've not been rescued by the fact that you got sent back to Blackburn by De Bruyne. And then bloody Pereira can't do anything for us, so he scores. This is getting embarrassing here. United in all sorts of trouble. 3-0 down at half-time. Defending like a bunch of drunch, drunk badgers in a sleeping bag. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Burnley are a team I'd love to see get relegated. I'm sorry if there are any Burnley fans. Don't worry, there's not many. Oh, shit! They've bloody scored! I can't believe that! Not when I'm saying that! Not when I'm saying that! That better bloody be offside! How, how have I got caught saying that? Why was I saying that at that moment? Why was I bloody talking about Burnley? It's always bloody Burnley! I can't believe it! What's gone on here? The, it's, a, it's a ball forward. It's a flick on... And it's a tat, it's poor. I tell you what, that's giraffe defending. Get your head in the sand, you bloody giraffe. I mean ostrich. I mean, even getting that bloody wrong as well. Ostrich defending. Head in the bloody sand. Nobody reacting quick enough. We need to get saved by VAR here. Matic has got two players on him. Two players on him. VAR foul. Bloody give us something. Wood. Ostrich defending that is. What am I about bloody giraffes? If we if we were if we were giraffes, we'd bloody we would we would have bloody stopped it. I can't that is a that is a sucker punch, that is. That is a sucker punch. They've not they've been rubbish. Burnley are rubbish. And we're one nil down. I, I I have to say, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised though. I'm not bloody surprised. You don't take your chances, you don't take your chances. And I feel in on in this game alone. I feel a little bit sorry for Oli because wan should have three assists. Martial should have had at least a goal. Mata should have scored. I mean, Wood, to be fair, did have another... I've got, I've got to be honest, somebody just said it in the live comments as well. Wood's had a chance that he should have scored as well. So, But we, should, we shouldn't be losing 1-0. Oh, for shit's sake! You cannot believe it! You cannot believe what Jay Rodriguez has done! He's just, he's just gone and scored an absolute bloody... Twat! Twat! Where's he saved that up from? He's just gone and smashed in a bloody world-class goal into the top corner. Oh, you cannot believe this. You won't believe this. You will not believe this. It's Maguire again. He's not close enough. But the finish is just bloody ridiculous. Of all the times to go and pull out the goal of your career, you do it when we're bloody losing 1-0. Jay Rodriguez into the box. Left foot, top corner. De Gea can't get near it. Maguire's probably given him in a yard too much. But to be honest with you, you know, I'm not... I'm not I, 
I can't say anything other than that goal. It, it was... <laughs> just the timing of it is just bloody ridiculous. As I said, we, you know, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, we've been mauled by a shark, not a tiger. It's bloody... It's one of them. I can't... I don't even... I can't even say anything other than we're not good enough, but... It's not like I don't think there's a defensive error there. I'm 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 shocked by that one because I think if it was any other game I'd go what a goal, but you, you can't say what a goal because it's against us. But what a bloody time to do it! So it's gone to bloody Peppa Pig now. I've done it again. This happened last night. Why has my bloody TV changed to Peppa Pig? Peppa Pig, piss off, Peppa Pig. You bloody piece of shit. Somebody keeps recording Peppa Pig. That's what, why it does it. So it goes to bloody go on Peppa Pig. No one wants to bloody watch Peppa Pig. Although I probably would prefer Peppa Pig to this shit. Two minutes to go. 